Hey, what's up everyone? It's Alan from Black Lotus Audio and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Vital presets. There are a few ways to do it and there's a couple of cool tricks you can use to organize your presets, so let's get into it. So we've got Vital here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the preset browser by either clicking on the preset name there or by selecting browse presets and we're just going to talk about some of the cool features that are kind of hidden inside the preset browser that we're going to be using. So the first one is this left corner, which is a basically like big overview of all your presets. This is where you'll find all of your folders that you import, any packs, um, all your user presets are down here. Now one thing that you may not know is if you click on some of these uh, folders, they will open up into additional subfolders. And that's um, kind of nice for accessing all your banks that may be hidden inside of those uh, way down deep in the file system. If you have like doubled up your folders or something, uh, be sure to click those and see if there's anything that you need to remove. Now, if you need to remove it, like how this pack has two folders, which is not ideal, what you can do is right click and select open file location. You can check it out and you'll see that we have the uh, top level folder, Black Lotus Audio's division pack, presets and then where the presets should be there's another pack so what we'll do is we'll just clean this up and we will drag those in we'll delete this folder that was there and then we will just uh, delete vital and then get a new instance of it and now if we open up the browser again we click on the uh, division pack or the dnb pack and there's no more folder there we've cleaned up our file structure so that's a very useful feature inside of the preset browser. Now, how do you get presets inside of the preset browser? The easiest way is to import the bank. Just open up the menu, click import bank, and then navigate to wherever your new uh, vital bank is. And you can tell it's a vital bank because it'll say dot vital bank instead of just dot vital. And all you have to do is click open. And then you just see Odyssey Melodic Dubstep popped up in our file browser. And now we can sort and select and do all kinds of fun stuff within the file browser. Of course, use the sounds, tweak them, etc. But now we have all the presets inside of our browser. And of course, we can cycle through them nice and easily. But that's not the only way to get presets into Vital. The other way is to use the Im or open external preset um, option. And what we're going to do is, again, go to our new, shiny new Vital preset. We'll use this BLA snare preset, and we'll just go ahead and open that. Now, notice we're in our user folder. This is where most of the presets you'll be saving will go. I believe actually all of them, unless they're somewhere else in your file system. So when we open up this new snare, let's say we have it and we wanted to like tweak it, you know, adjust the phase, change an LFO shape, and we made it our own and we wanted to save it or maybe we just wanted to use the preset again, what you need to do to every single preset that you open externally is you need to resave that preset. Vital does not save presets automatically when you open when you use the open external preset option. So now that we've saved it, we have it here, and every time we close Vital or delete Vital, it will pop up back in our user folder. Now, there are some drawbacks about this. Uh, if you saved a bunch of presets that were maybe in different styles or just didn't belong together, it would kind of get messy just having one user folder. So one thing we can do is we can right click on the user folder and open file location, um, which is down here. This is the window that we're talking about. And you can just now within your own file folder, you can add things like drums or perk or whatever you want to call it. And then if we reload vital, just like we removed one of the division folders, now we have a folder inside of our user folder that we can access inside of Vital uh, that just has our drums. Now, if you had like 100 presets and maybe like a couple categories, um, you would really see the difference here, but it really helps clean up the file system. You can do this to any preset pack you'd like. You just have to open the file location and then you can sort things um, as you see fit. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a really neat trick. So if we open up our file browser and we're going to go find a preset pack. So we have Odyssey here. We have the Odyssey uh, Melodic Dubstep Vital Bank. Now, 
If for some reason we needed to get the individual presets out of this vital bank, all we have to do is rename this vital bank, this uh, dot vital bank part to dot zip, use dot zip, and now this becomes a zip folder. And we can just open that and we'll see that we have the Odyssey pack, the presets, and then there's all of the presets inside of Odyssey or whatever pack you're using. Um, and this is cool because this actually goes in reverse too. So if we delete the zip file, if you have a folder with a bunch of presets in it, just name that folder presets and then put it inside of another folder that actually is the name you want to pop up inside of Vital. Um, let's just call this one maybe, um, we'll just call this dubstep. And then all you have to do is compress or otherwise make this dubstep folder a zip folder. There we go. And that pops up down here, but we'll close that. And then once you have the dot zip, all you have to do is just type in vital bank. So make sure you're using dot vital bank, and then you'll notice the icon will change and you'll have this dubstep dot vital bank or whatever you'd like to name it. And now if we go back into vital, instead of having a big folder of presets um, that somebody has handed you, you can just click once to import the vital bank and there's our dubstep vital bank and it pops up here in our file browser nice and easy much better than opening every preset externally and saving them individually so once you've mastered that the last method that we can use to put presets inside of vital is by right clicking on our user folder we'll have our presets folder and then just like we have the drums folder um, if i open up another window here we can just go to our new vital presets and let's just go to some of these uh, Odyssey presets and we'll just select a few of them. And you can just start dropping, um, let's do a new folder, let's see how this works. Um, let's just call them Odyssey Beta or something like that, something random. Um, and then we'll go into Vital, delete that, and we'll open up a new Vital here. There we go. And now, inside of our user folder, we have drums and we have Odyssey Beta. So you can import presets by using the right click, open file location, and then dragging the folder inside of your user library as well. So that's another way to do it. Um, to me, it's much easier to import the Vital Banks, um, but this is certainly another good option to know about. So that's how you install Vital presets. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that bell notification icon so that you get notified every time a new video of ours goes live. And check out our website for some really awesome sounds. I'm Alan from BlackLotusAudio.com and I will see you guys in the next video.